Three Chicago families are doing their best to keep their heads above water after being hit with a utility bill for thousands of dollars. Investigative reporter Lourdes Duarte has more on the mystery bills that have angered residents. Well, by now, the city of Chicago is used to hearing complaints about water billing. Earlier this year, WGN Investigates found that more than 3,000 Chicagoans have a past due water bill that's larger than $20,000. That's a 200% increase since 2018. Adding to the frustration for residents not being able to figure out what caused the high bills. So we have a normal faucet. From the west side to the north side, water bills are hard to ignore. So it's pretty obvious when there's a problem. They couldn't find a leak. They done been inside. No water is pouring out anywhere. The Matlock family has owned this building on West Fulton for more than 50 years. We were all raised here. Her parents ran a small shop. They used to have a candy line from right here all the way down there. Sweet memories that are hard to forget, but came to an end in 2019 when the family business shut down. But we had the building secured. So, but the door was open when the uh, police and the fire department got here. So somebody probably had broke in. A fire destroyed the building, leaving the family with no choice but to sell it. And here's where a single water bill comes into the story. The family had a buyer and a closing date all was set to go when they were told by the city they owed $16,000 worth of water. The high bill linked to a sudden spike in usage, according to their city water meter. I was like, no way. Nobody's in this building. Nobody's living there, no toilet, nothing. There's the meter. It's a story we've heard a lot since reporting last month how a Northside condo building saw their city water bill jump from a monthly average range of six dollars to $800 to more than $10,000. It just doesn't make sense for us to have physical use of this much water. In that case, the city told them the spike was likely caused by a leak. But no leaks were found, no repairs were made, and the next month their bill dropped to normal levels. Since leaks don't just repair themselves, they think it was a meter malfunction. That's it. But the city told them to pay up anyway. We're stuck because we can never get in touch with anyone who's able to engage in a constructive conversation. Just pay the water bill. The Matlock family said the same is true for them. Outrageously high usage one month and back to normal the next. Just like that, the city telling them to pay up too. They have no explanation. Meanwhile, the building sits empty. The sale on hold until the water bill is cleared. See, I'm very frustrated. See, I'm sick. I can't hear good. And they is not giving me no consideration. We didn't have this type of water bill. A little consideration is all Emily Henke's looking for as well. On average, the north side 16 unit property's total water bill comes to no more than $800 for 40,000 gallons of water. But last May, the building received a bill for 576,000 gallons, enough to nearly fill an Olympic sized pool. $6,187. So we were shocked. The next month, their water usage dropped too, back to normal levels, but the city still says pay up. It's absolutely frustrating and truthfully ridiculous, especially hearing that this has gone out in other buildings. There has to be some sort of recourse. WGN Investigates requested an interview with city water officials, but were told that wasn't possible. A city hall spokeswoman sending this comment. Both the Department of Water Management and the Department of Finance work directly with customers when they report issues with their water service and or billing. When you get to that point, it's sort of where you're at as the last resort. Municipal water expert Jason Mum talked to us via Zoom from California, where he handles rates and billing for municipalities across the country. He says overbilling is usually caused by a leak or a meter. They're mechanical devices, and they're going to fail from time to time. Sometimes they do need to be replaced, and even if they're new, just like anything else you get, they don't always work. In either case, he says most agencies will try to work with customers. Our utility clients do try to figure out what's going on so that, um, if for no other reason, so that it doesn't happen anymore. 
Nothing's been fixed. There's no leaky pipes in our... But residents say that is not happening in Chicago. As far as the city and the mayor, I don't think so. They still get me to run around. They really need to go on and take care of this here. So it won't happen to another senior or anybody else. We reached out to the meter manufacturer Badger Meters about the possibility of a meter malfunction. They tell us that all their meters are tested for accuracy before they're ever shipped out. Meanwhile, WGN Investigates keeps pushing the city water department to sit down with us to help piece together what led to those high bills. I'm Lourdes Duarte, WGN Investigates. Mm.